In 1912, Marion Mahoney Griffin drew 16 renderings of her husband's plans for Canberra. They were a vital part of the couple's winning entry in the competition for the design of the new capital, but Marion's name didn't feature. At the time, Marion was the first woman, as far as we know, the first woman working, actually having a job as an architect anywhere in the world. And it was, we think Walter and she felt that if her name was on the design, it would trivialise it, having a woman's name attached. It's a sad reflection of a different time and a wrong the National Capital Authority wants to help right through events and an exhibition dedicated to the architect. I want people to know her name, to just know that she existed, that she was a fantastic architect, designer, artist and environmentalist in her own right. Her designs are all the more remarkable considering she drew them without ever having visited Canberra. Her talent clear in the accuracy of this view from the summit of Mount Ainsley, compared with the vista today. Of the two of them, Marion was the one most closely tied to nature, and this city is a city that sits within the landscape. In 2013, the ACT government named the lookout at the top of Mount Ainsley after Marion, but it took a hundred years for her to get the credit she deserved. The fact that we don't know about Marion's influence on our national capital is reflective of a wider problem. And that's that we do not remember and celebrate women's historic role in civic and political leadership in this country. Professor Wright says it's vital to look back so society can move forward. Because if we don't, we cannot respect the women that we work with and live with today. I mean, some of the problems that we're seeing in our political culture today about a lack of respect for women, I think can absolutely be sheeted home to the fact that we do not recognise on a national level the importance and the role that women have played in Australian society. The architect did eventually visit Canberra. Before she retired, she looked at the view from Mount Ainsley and decided the city still needed a lake. Turns out she was right about that too. Isaac Naruzi, ABC News, Canberra.